I have a small intro, which I know is not normal for this channel, but just give me a minute and I, you'll understand. So this video is going to take on two different styles that I don't normally do. One, because this knife will not be for sale. And two, because it's a material that I'm not used to working with. This is my Christmas special to you guys and my family as well. Um, actually, right now, if I timed it right, my mom and dad should be watching this video right about now. Let me tell you something about my father. He worked in the airline industry, working at Delta for over 30 years. He, and he retired from Delta after putting 30 plus years in working on airplanes. And he really made a difference in the company. And then he even continued to work on a bunch of other stuff throughout the years. And finally, he's officially retired as of this year. But this video is kind of part of the gift. I even had my mom help me out with this. My mom has also worked at Delta for most of her life. She retired a few years ago. Who is an Air Force veteran. Met my father at Delta. Uh, told me exactly what to find since I'm not huge on airplane parts and stuff like that But thank you mom for helping me out with this because today I'm going to be making a knife out of a Titanium fan blade this came out of a Boeing 727 jet airplane a, uh, a JT 80 which is the engine from the first jet airplane that my dad really worked on my mom told me it would have significant meaning for him and uh, this is the Stage 2 fan blade. He's very familiar with this engine. He's very familiar with the airplane. And that's kind of how he got his foot in the door as a mechanic. So I got online and I found one. And I'm going to be making my dad a knife from this fan blade. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. I only have one and I'm very nervous. The one thing I did not count on was how absolutely thin this material is. I measured it. It's, it's actually less than an eighth of an inch thick. It doesn't give me a whole lot of room for mess up. So I'm going to have to really take my time on this one. And I guess the first thing I'm going to do is get this bend out of here make it flat. I don't know any of these numbers mean, I don't know if they're measurements or whatnot. I'm gonna cook off this sticker real quick and get the forge going. Hopefully we won't set a fire in here. Remember, this is an eighth of an inch thick. It took so much work. It's literally less than an eighth of an inch. I apologize, it's less than eight an eighth of an inch. It smells awful, I hope this stuff isn't toxic. This was a brand new Diablo cutting wheel. I mean, I know it's not for titanium, but still. Just in time, my new rounding hammer arrived. I've got this on Amazon. You can hear the tingling, but it's almost making like a popping noise. It's really strange. That's as straight as it's gonna get with the tools that I have. The, bi the biggest problem that I had is that the, the edges are noticeably thinner than the middle. So these edges are way thinner than the middle is, which means that they cool down so much faster. You know, I knew I was not getting into something easy, but I had no idea I was gonna burn up blades like that. I'm gonna have to make a, a run to Home Depot tomorrow. Yeah, I know. It's impossible. It's got batteries. Uh, <laughs> I knew I wasn't crazy, you're crazy. I'm officially out of all my cutting wheels and grinding wheels. Three cutting wheels and a flappy disc. 
and all I've done was that. I might as well go ahead and start drilling this hole back here so I can tell how many drill bits I need to go buy tomorrow too. I got a bag full of abrasives and I'm about to try this again. I did some research and people are cutting titanium, relatively thin titanium, a little bit thicker than what I've got here, but they're using band saws to cut them because apparently something to do with the friction uh, and I really hope I don't mess anything up because this is the only bandsaw blade that I have and I've made my trips for today. I won't lie, I'll be very impressed if this works and I have a sneaking suspicion that people are messing with me when I read this. Not a catastrophic fail. Looks like it just slipped off. It got my bands up and running again. I think what caused the issue is that my guides were out of link and uh, the blade actually just popped off. It didn't break like I thought it was going to. Um, but that's gonna be a no for me, dog. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the abrasives that I got. Might as well. At this point, I've basically been calling it the shark tooth because I think it kind of looks like a shark tooth. I'm very happy with it so far. The, the belt that I'm using for this has, has been phenomenal. I don't know if it's just the, the company, but I've never had a belt just kick this much ass that I'm using right now. And it is kicking ass. I'm having a really hard time getting in this area, in this area, but I think I've, I've got a way that I can get in here and make it nice and round, but very snugly in the palm. The thing that throws me off is just so, how light it is, you know? I kinda wanna add more of a, a natural curve to this, so I might smooth it out some more, but right now I think I'm gonna go ahead and I guess start working on the, the actual blade itself. So I copied another YouTuber's video and made a, a frame jig similar to, or a knife jig similar to his, and I don't know how effective it's gonna be on this particular knife, but I might give it a whirl, see if it works. But I mean, it, it looks like, I don't see why it wouldn't work. Um, just such a strange angle. I'll leave a link to this guy's video. I, I changed it up a little bit and added my own, uh, my own handle kind of deal. He didn't have anything quite like this, but links for this guy's videos in the description. Clamp the, the knife to it like this, and and uh, then you then you run it against a, a belt a belt sander. For mine, as you turn this bolt up and down, this is this is threaded here, and you can set your angle that way. And it, it's on a hinge, right here. Kind of cool, man. Kind of cool. So to just by turning this bolt uh, higher or lower, you can adjust the... So I'm gonna try this. If it doesn't work, I'll just sharpen it by hand. Nothing to do but to try it. So sharp. This is the sharpest knife I've ever made.
while I'm thinking about it. So you're mounting your handle to your blade. Oh no, look at look at all this buildup right here of uh, extra resin. Well, all you gotta do is get this little wire brush attachment for a Dremel, hit in there, it won't destroy the wood or the metal, but it'll knock away all that extra, like almost like a sanding wheel. So it's it's really easy and convenient. So if, if this ever happens, I tried to not to let this happen. Usually I would tape this off, but. Look at that, good as rain. No, uh, no overflow. polishing wheel getting everything all nice and kind of polished I, I still getting this thing mirror shine without hardcore sanding it for I don't know two or three weeks is gonna be almost impossible since of how tough this material is I really actually kind of like the way the pockets on it look but there's one more thing I want to do titanium turns uh, several different colors when you heat it to certain degrees it goes from blues to purples to yellows it's it's pretty it's pretty cool but I'd like to do that with this. The cool thing is, if I don't like it, it's reversible. I can just buff it off. It's like a surface layer thing. Well, I'm gonna hit it with some alcohol first. You wanna make sure you take all the grease off of this because if you don't, any bit of grease or oil is going to be left over and you're gonna be able to see like the fingerprints and stuff in the material and I don't want that. So just kind of hit it with a little bit of alcohol and just heat. Got like a, a bluing effect. Very hot still, I don't want to touch it, but it's got a nice blue finish on it. And I'm not sure if I like how it's all over it. Uh, polish along the, where the blade is and then have the rest of this just be regular colored. Pretty cool. And that's it. I think I'm gonna call it good here. Crazy bluing. Um, I went ahead and I just, I just polished the edge. I, I didn't even really. Ch it's crazy how little I've had to sharpen this knife to get it razor sharp. I did hit it with a strop, but only for a second. Um, Absurdly sharp.